making delicious kumquat jam, an easy step-by-step -step recipe. The kumquat is a citrus fruit that looks like an orange but is oval-shaped and much smaller. People first grew kumquat trees, also known as fortunella, in China in the 70s. The name kumquat combines the Chinese word gam meaning gold and guat another word for tangerines. Kumquats have sweet skin which you can eat. It's not very juicy and sometimes can be sour but having sweet skin is best eaten whole. I'm going to show you how to make kumquat jam in no time. If you love citrusy flavors you will love to have it in your breakfast. I have about 350 grams kumquat. I washed them and drained. And first I'm going to cut the ends and the other side. Next I'm gonna uh, slice them into about less than half a centimeter. It is up to you. I'm going to show you another way of cutting in a moment but uh, this style seemed more prettier for a, a citrus fruit like this. Make sure to take out any seeds as much as you can. The second way you can cut is just cut it into half and take out the seeds again and cut it like in wedges. This way you can also get rid of the white part in the middle. So I finished slicing them all and going to collect some of the seeds and uh, boil to get some pectin from them and going to add to my jam. I'm going to use same amount of sugar as for the kumquat. First add the fruit in a medium size pan and the granulated sugar. Give it a good shake and let them cover with the sugar and let it rest for at least 5 hours or overnight. As you can see I got nice juice coming from the kumquats and we are ready to go on stove top. Adding half cup of butter, you can add orange juice if you like. And while it's boiling, I'm gonna boil the seeds with another fourth of a cup water for about 3-4 minutes and going to add to my jam. The heat is on medium-high. It is important to get as much as pectin from the fruit, adding the uh, water from the seeds and continue to boil. It took about 25-30 minutes to get to the jam consistency and how you can check if your jam is done, just look for the last drops it should be oozing, which means it is thick enough. You can also drop into a cold plate and check if it is runny or holds its shape. After it was cooled down, I transferred the kumquat jam into a jar and the leftover in a small bowl. It was perfectly in a jelly consistency and packed in citrusy flavor. I tried kumquat jam for the first time and as a family we loved it. I'm planning to make more. I hope you also give it a try and like. If you enjoyed the video, 
Don't forget to subscribe and like for more recipes like this. I also have many other interesting jam recipes on my channel including fig jam and rose jam. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Afiyet olsun.